All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mannequin Lane. Um, I am tired of waiting for the proper conditions to watch this show. I've been living through one freaking hailstorm, not hailstorm, hailstorm after the next, and I'm just tired. Every week has presented new and worse problems than the week before. Um, so I'm just done. Whatever. I have power. I was waiting for power to be back and stable enough to be able to watch this because it lasts an hour. Or, well, I make it last an hour. <laughs> um, it lasts almost an hour. So I think we should be good. Power's been back stable for at least two days. And then I just kind of... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Freaking watching it now. And I'm excited because... Anyway, um, this is like probably my favorite thing to watch or one of my favorite things to watch. I mean, Carl is just comedy gold so we have an idiot abroad season two episode four whale watching now i know it's been a while since the last one but again i had my reasons so anyway i skipped over you know all the spoilers and junk and um i don't think he's gonna be whale watching <laughs> last one was dolphin swim and he did not swim with dolphins so um i don't know what this episode is gonna having it but i'm not even gonna be surprised if there's literally no whale watching at all it seems too simple and peaceful for ricky and steven to let him just whale watch so let's find out anyway i'm excited i could use like a break from real life and and just everything and this is like the best break from that i was ex i was waiting to be also in a spectacular mood as usual but I'm in a good enough one, <laughs> and this will put me in a better one, so we're good. Okay, ooh, Germanic. Flying a fighter jet, oh, forget that. Not interested. What? Flying a fighter jet, oh, oh. forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge, forget that. Uh, Dead Sea, been there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, wait, see. what said? Oh, wait. Drive a Formula One car? He's not interested in that? I'd even be interested in that. Those things go fast. That sounds fun. Ride the Rocky Mountain near train. Canada? Not interested. Fly in a helicopter over the Grand Canyon? Sure, I'd do that. Sea elephants in the wild. This list is bizarre. Explore Antarctica. Climb Mount Everest. Hell no. Travel to space. We all know. Why is that even there? Carl is not going to do that. He couldn't even do the, the thing. It was just... I think it was G. 1G. Is If that was... I think so. Uh, just a mess. Catch a sunset over... Uluru? I can't read that properly. But... Go wing walking on a biplane. A biplane? I didn't know planes had sexualities. Oh, that's cool. How do you know if a plane is bi, though? Interesting. Interesting. Ride something bigger than a horse. <laughs> what? Build your own house. That's the... Well, he likes DUI. D DUIs? DUI. No, DIYs. <laughs> He likes DIYs, so that might be a Carl thing. Skinny dip at midnight. Where, though? Mm, okay, that's not a Carl thing. Run a marathon. Marathon, not a Kyle. Carl thing. Join the Mile High Club. He's going to need someone for that. Be an extra in a film. I understand he's already been acting, so. Protest at a, I don't know, run with the bulls. Ooh, that'd be fun to watch Carl do that, but I don't think he'd be interesting. Learn to fly a... Smudge. Been there. What are you choosing, Carl? Okay. Uh, we got a line. We got a line. We read a lot. Whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Just whales. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest sort of thing. Um. Their tongue is as big as an elephant. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weird if it had a human one. Human sized. If you said it's that big and yet its tongue is human sized, I'd still <laughs> want to see it. <laughs> So, we'll send you to Alaska to whale watch. Would you be interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Or Inuits, now. Uh, you don't say Eskimo. It's a derogatory term. Who's come up with Is that it? little problem for them? I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. 
Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget, the preferred dwarf. And all that, Eskimos, what would be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, leprechauns <laughs> don't exist. <laughs> no, but, but leprechauns do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. What do no. leprechauns prefer to be called? Gnomes, or... <laughs> there's something... <laughs> leprechauns something... prefer to be called gnomes! So confused. Oh, God! I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is who's getting offended, it's always someone else. Right. Whale watching, yeah? Mandy Paz. That is so freaking true. Uh, I saw a video that... Uh, uh, and this is years ago. That's, like, extra true now. Anyway, one of, one of those viral videos is going around. The one that I really, really like is a guy. White guy. Put on, like, a very, very Mexican-themed poncho, a sombrero, and he taped, like, a black piece of felt to his face just like taped it not even looking good um i don't remember if he had maracas or not whatever and he went around like a, a college campus and act asked um a whole just bunch of random people if they liked his outfit and if they thought it was offensive and everyone was like yeah no that's offensive because also, like, people invent reasons for it to be offensive when they have no background info. A lot of people are saying, no, that's offensive because you know nothing about the culture and you don't know what these kind of things mean. Like, what do you know how much that guy knows about Mexican culture, dude? That was just, like, bizarre to me. The, 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 the way they were inventing just absolute BS to justify that it was offensive. And, well, obviously the video's edited for it. It to look like everybody he asked said, oh, no, that's offensive. That that ain't cool. You you know, you're not, that's not your culture. You can't do that. And then he went to, like, a Mexican neighborhood and asked all the Mexicans, <laughs> you like my outfit? Everybody's like, yeah, you look great. And you're like, do you find this offensive? Not at all, dude. You look awesome. And just, like, all of them were freaking fine with it. So, ooh, what Carl said, man. What Carl said. And, again, this is all. This situation got much worse lately. Much frickin' deeper, but, um, yeah. Who Keep... it is who's getting offended, it's always someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. Whale watching, yeah? Good. All right. Oh, I could use some of... Some glaciers right now. I think I moaned right a lot now. last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, God, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war and kicking off, it's always the hot ones. It's because you get agitated. But I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. It's like they're just cool. I think the cold is going to be tricky, but I'll, I'll handle it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. Visually. If there is a way, I'll probably miss it. Because it's... I mean, look, look at it that. It looks like Kenny. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little bit jet lagged. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. But I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? You want to bet? Hello, mate, Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I were talking, and um, we thought it'd be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chat to take you um, via the scenic route. All right? Okay, safe travels. Bye. Well, it's meant to be global warming. Ice is melting and all that. There's loads of it. Hello. Marty? Yes, Marty Rainey. How are you doing? Well, you must be Carl. I am, yeah. Have I like this shopping? guy already. Well, I brought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack is on there, the same pack as I, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Um... Where are we going? Do we honestly need this? No. I think you're carrying a lot of extra... No, we need no. that. <laughs> this is very serious business. Just this seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for a walk. OK, stop and listen. Oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting like, for you. I, I, like... I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I it's like, like that. spiritual. But that's what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Oh, no. Hey. Good bastard. 
I'm not gonna lie. When he said that he watched it back and saw himself moaning a lot, I thought he was gonna try extra hard to not complain as much. But I don't think he can. It's just like in his nature. <laughs> Can't help it. He's a grouchy bastard. <laughs> hey, partner, you all right? Oh my God. I don't that understand that you're doing it. Carl, this is called. Are, are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you want to take a break? I'm not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get whoa, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five foot snow? I am five three. So what? It's um, up to here? In snow? <laughs> What? That's ridiculous. Keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. You use Come your poles. Here. You all right? Yeah. Oh, you're fucking busted. <laughs> Surely it's good to keep your energy in case you need it. If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because you've been wading through five foot snow. You okay? Oh, fucking hell. Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you love it. Well, you're, life you're, you're already in the middle of it. Like, it's it's just as bad to go back. <laughs> Unless you, like, use the sleigh thing. But um, I love how the guy is constantly turning back. Are you okay? <laughs> or whatever. I kept saying, do we have do to anything. go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, he's just flipped over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Columbo box set, in for the day. Oh! What? What happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Do you want help? No, no, it's all right. I can sure. do this. Carl. Hurry up. <laughs> I'll come back and help. No, don't be coming back. <laughs> Those are my skis. Don't lose them. <laughs> This is awesome. Okay, that was a very you animated okay, laugh. Yeah, I've sorted it. You all right? <sighs> yeah. Look at independent. You're using Carl. a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say yeah. Then I'm using my breath up. Okay. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Fucking hell. Fucking lunatic. Oh my god. Can you drink this? Yes. No. Really? It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that OK? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. I think, I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. And when do you use that? I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. When, at what point, how deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? I know nothing about snow, but I believe they're carrying the shovel because if one gets like buried in a deeper patch of snow, it just kind of like the earth just kind of swallows you. It consumes you and the shovel is to rescue that. I've seen people um, in, in videos on like ski trips or whatever. They like miss a ramp or just they just completely fall and the snow just like swallows them and they can't get out because it's like loose snow. So somebody has to come and help them out and shovel is like just the best way. Just shovel it up and pull them out. So I'm thinking it's a safety thing. So stop complaining. <laughs> Cause if, if, if Carl, if you get buried in the snow, the, the shovel is what's going to save your ass. So, you know, calm down, calm down. <laughs> I'm just worried. Cause I'm going in Marty's footsteps. So if he's been on dog shit. Of course. Let's roll. Roll is a. Well, what are we doing? Are we doing a bit of skiing? Strong word. I'm worried about that. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, "Look at that knobhead on a slide." It's a grown man. What's he doing on a slide? But for me, it's the same. Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. Tight. Come on, keep your legs together. Okay, now, grow up. Stop messing about on hills. Okay, and then you go up, and you can go up a hill. Am I the only one curious as to how the cameraman is dealing with all the snow? Because they're like 
they were walking through very deep snow and that can't like i imagine they have to give the cameraman like a safety pack or something right i don't know how many camera people are with them i don't know if there's two or just one guy or but the camera has to be heavy dude and the like carl complained <laughs> having all this equipment but the camera guy i don't think he's on some kind of like snowmobile the snow jet ski thing a snowmobile i think that's it like i obviously don't know maybe he does just because but i mean i'm very curious to see how this the the, the camera guy deals with all this. like when he was in the, the shark tank too i'm just i'm curious like it's the chillest guy ever dude <laughs> what sideways it's hard with a sled and a pack i know you know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. I mean, even Eddie Eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an <coughs> Olympic fella. Concentrate, nice and perfect. Skis together, awesome. Nice and perfect. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. Say it's all right. It's nice. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic, you're good, you're good. Awesome. That was amazing. Nice. It's not easy. We're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark, <laughs> so we have to be uh, focused. I am. Awesome. Yeah. It's all downhill. <laughs> Woo! We gotta be focused. I am awesome, fucking hell. <laughs> Great, dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. I think you were going uphill, but sure. Oops. What's the toilet situation here? There is Always. no toilet. <laughs> but, but there is. There's a room for it. You've, you've gone to the trouble of having the room. All well, that's not just for changing or privacy. <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't need privacy. OK, number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yes, not a problem. OK, number two, you make yourself a, a nice a nice wedged toilet paper, if you will. And I'm not joking. You are kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Hang on, though. Earlier, you were going on about, mate, sure you keep your gloves on. And you've just told me to wipe your ass with a chalk ice, basically. And hang on a minute. I've just remembered you had me eating it over there. You said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. <laughs> it took him Jeez, a while. Snow it took him a while. In the world. Jesus. <laughs> My hands are so cold, I can't even play. Love it. I wrote this song, you ready? It goes like this. I really caribou you. I'm a loon when you're a whale. It's hard for me to bear, because I love you so dear. I really caribou you. Your salmon, special to me. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. We're not for ages. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. Never known a night like it. I haven't slept, really. Looks cozy in here. Yeah? That's the problem. I hate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland, nice sort of log cottage. It's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, which, which are fine when they're at home, and you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, you've got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless, that. Doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, heating <laughs> is essential. Unless they sort of think, oh, back up, you warm up. It's freezing. Doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh, he's out on the, on the road again, getting out in the thick of it. I want to come out and brush my teeth. <laughs> I've already seen... What? <laughs> I've already seen this man brush his teeth in the weirdest places. <laughs> he, like, always does it outside, didn't he? There wasn't, wasn't there a room with a sink for, like, privacy or whatever? But... 
I've seen him brush his... I, it's just weird. It's just weird that they always show him brushing his teeth. Like, it's very important to him. But it's in the weirdest places. Hi, right, mate. <coughs> uh, it's fucking freezing. Is it? Well, I, I, I looked at the weather forecast where you are, and it said it was only, like, minus three, minus two. Right. Well, what, what do you mean, though? If that if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh, nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours, having a wander through five it's foot well, snow. It's lovely here. It's about 60 degrees here. We just walked from Hampstead to uh, Highgate. We just wandered around. Gonna get a cappuccino. Dang it! 60 degrees. I thought I thought this these men were talking about freaking Celsius. I don't know Fahrenheit because Fahrenheit's stupid. And it makes no sense. So what's minus? Hold on, give me a second. Uh... Minus three, let's put. Minus 19 Celsius. That's freaking cold. Minus two is minus 18, same thing. Okay, okay, mega, mega freezing. And what's 60? Give me a second. 15 degrees. That's still cold. <laughs> I'm cold when it's 15 degrees out. What the hell? I was going to laugh here somewhere. Spring <coughs> has really come to uh, London now. Do you know how, like, normally you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink. Yeah. I'm thirsty. I got off at about 2 o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. <laughs> so that's that's what it's like here. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be, like, the little relaxing bit. Listen, stop complaining. Um because I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos. Uh, and it's in a little town called Barrow, which is the most northerly point in Alaska. I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. All right, see you later. See you later. It's just snow and ice and uh, an Eskimo village. Yeah. There's just not a whole lot there. For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. Is that bad? It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. <laughs> and then the people up there at Barrow, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff. They got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging. I love it. This guy, I, f I feel identified. Just like trying to get him to not go there. <laughs> Saying all the bad things about it. I love it. Digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People? Yeah. Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Anything. They'd actually dig you out? They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge to yeah. with food. It's, it's, like a fridge, it? it's like a fridge with food, that's it. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say, like, if you if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or, you know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrow. Definitely love it. I'd best go and see these Eskimos then, aren't I? It's a very foot in the washing out, is it? Early. You said enough, Doc. How's the bell? How are you doing? Come on in. Your name? Carl. Carl! Ah. Or Kunan. Yeah! yeah. Kunan. Jamie. Welcome Janie. to top of the world. Yeah, there. no, that's... Yeah. yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. Freezing. Heat's yeah. meant to rise. Uh-huh. Doesn't it, <laughs> yeah? OK. Freezing. <laughs> Will I take my shoes off? Uh, come here and yap. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. What's your reason to come? These are like the sweetest old ladies ever. To Barrow, Alaska. To see a whale. Oh, goodness. Oh, did that say? Reason to come to Barrow, Alaska. Uh. To see a whale. Oh, goodness. A whale. What? Big whale. I, I just want to see one. I just want to see Would you like one. to see Maktuk? Maktuk. 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 
Tuck. Chock. Tuck. Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going on? The outer laying of a bowhead whale. That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Let's have a look. Bowhead whale. There you go. You wanted to see one? There you we go. Eat it fresh or eat it frozen? It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, I meant Alive. swimming, <laughs> not in a carrier bag. <laughs> I'll have just a small, a oh, small yeah, piece. Oh, yeah, sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having, like, just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little... Sucking on it. Yeah. ...little buffet, them, to that. Just open the fridge, suck on some processed peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy smell. Very delicious. You can even... How is it? Can you have Is it good? Yes. Chewy. Oh, chewy, isn't it? <laughs> OK, here. <clears throat> That's caribou frozen. We eat it frozen. Mm. Oh. Why, why do you have an oven? You have an <laughs> oven. But everything's cold. I don't play it. Hey? What's up with her now? What's happened? <laughs> I saw that they were old, I thought, great, <coughs> you know, I can just sit down, they'll probably nod off after a bit, all the excitement of having a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans, I'm going to set you out. And I was thinking, maybe bingo or something like that with her age, or a bit of shopping, <laughs> or just something that old people do. It's nice. The what? The weather. My feet are freezing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's OK. Not really. She's got one of them snow bikes. She says, come on, we're going, I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. Right? No helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. <laughs> do you have to have a licence for one of these? What? What? I said, do you have to have a licence to drive one of these? She couldn't hear me, I was trying to talk. I said, do you have to have a... What is she going to crash into? Why is he freaking out so bad? <laughs> There's like no way to mess up. I mean, it's fine. A license to drive one of these. She couldn't hear me. I was trying to talk to her. <coughs> I need to have a wee. What's that? Are there toilets? Yelling on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <sighs> her eyes are knackered. Her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. She's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Th is this what? it? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no else here. Yeah. How do they know? How does she know that this is it? It looks exactly the same like everything else, which is just nothingness. It's just snow. It's a snow desert, dude. There's nothing. Beautiful. There isn't even a sign that says now you are now entering Point Barrow. Yeah, it's nice. It's the same as where we were. What's that? I said it's the same as where we were. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Welcome to Point Barrow. How bad, how bad do you guys want to be on that snowmobile? Come from that fridge, that direction, just freaking vroom, and, and use that little patch of snow with the black bits on top as a ramp and just fly. I want to real bad. <laughs> Barrow? Point, Barrow. Yay! Yes, sir. Yeah. It's the northernmost point in the whole wide world. How right do you here. know? Oh, this is ice. Yeah. Yeah. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. Did you, did you say you bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. Coffee, tea, Oh, yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I know that saying, you're on top of the world, means you're over the moon, you're happy. All I am is freezing, got a snotty nose, and my feet are going numb. 
Sure, I've got frostbite. There is a sign. Okay, I got it. Got it. I just thought there'd be more to it. That's all. Mm. Me too. I've seen a lot of wild bones knocking about everywhere you look. Okay. They're just dotted around, big, massive wild bones. I mean, that's the problem with eating whale. When you think about it, it's not like a chicken, where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. You got a big, massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. Everyone knows what you've had for your tea. It's out in the garden. Big, massive bone. <laughs> Can't get shut up. Oh my god. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, 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 a glassy. Where are the whales? Where's the water? All I've been seeing is ice. Like, as far as the eye can see, there are whale bones everywhere, and these people are eating whale, and that's just fine, but where the hell are they getting it from? There's no water! <laughs> it's just ice for miles. Do you mint? I'm stood on top of an ice. Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, 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 a glassy mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. You're complaining that it's a bit cold. You're complaining you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand. You chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice, calm ocean with the fin sticking out the top. It's all in its head, blurting some water out and a nice bit of music. Right. Where I am now, I'm like in a right. giant fridge that's got out of hand. It's fucking freezing. But this is an experience. This is things to do before you die. It's not like it's dangerous, Freeze? is it? Well, it is dangerous because there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer <laughs> or test your prostate, did you? No. No. No, but that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And, and that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear. And that's you relax for another year. I, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about my testicles right. and that's my ass. Right. This doesn't happen on Bruce Parry. Don't know who that is. <laughs> I've got to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright. See you later. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. I'm never going to see a whale. I love What's how, the point? I love how he's just determined to see one. It's a whale, not whales. It's not whale watching. It's I want to see a whale. That's it. In this program being in HD, <laughs> it's a waste of time being in colour. It's giving me a headache. I can see the redness on your cheeks I don't cheeks understand it. Cold. How can you have all this and the sun? It's weird. But that makes it worse, because it blinds you. True. But then again, if you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? <laughs> now to look at anyway. What do you mean? What about the polar bears? You got to see them coming. <clears throat> Oh, is that water? That's water. Okay, I got you. You know, when I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved. You know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if someone needs a bucket picked up or... Just any sort of rubbish, just someone calls you. Sewage, you, you know, from the toilet. But I didn't realise part of, you know, getting my hands on something was getting my hands on a load of shit. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm going to tilt and I'm going to stand to the side. So right. if it splashes, I don't get hit. Honey buckets, oh, that's what they call them. Me. Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that... Someone might call the, the boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. But then when you see it... <laughs> so there what? you go. Fast. 
You don't want to get splashed. It's, it's coming out of the... There you go. Good job. Oh, God almighty. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why I always got that name. It's just a big bucket with thin bags of shit and piss in them. Yeah, that smells my money. That was a lot of shit in that. It's heavy, isn't it? It can be. Sometimes they get filled to the rim. Apparently, not every house has them, but there's still, like, a load of them that just have these honey buckets, which plastic bucket. The houses that don't have them, what do they do? I don't want to know. You stick the proper toilet seat on them and you can just have them anywhere in your house. The more I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home and no matter where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. Because sometimes it is annoying when football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time no, instead of just going, no. actually, just get the honey bucket, sit in front of the no. telly and do it. They don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Things to do before you die. Jesus Christ. Right? What kind of bucket list is this? Oh, this is next terrible. One. Let's get this done as quick as we can. So I can't be doing with this. What's that load like? You think it's fine, and then you disturb it. The smell wakes up. Oh, don't do that. You know, I legit thought it like they were going to talk about the smell not being that bad because everything's like so cold and frozen and, and smells don't travel as much in the cold. Like when something's frozen, it doesn't really smell as much as when it's not frozen or when it's hot. So I thought like the smell wasn't going to be an issue, but I guess I was very wrong. Good. People called him up as we're driving along. His, his radio thing was going, going quick. Quick, get to number 188 or whatever. And it's like, Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen? Frozen! When was it last picked up? The other day, they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. He seemed livid, but they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird worry, isn't it? That you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Yeah, you can have a bucket. You can have that. Thank you. It's all right. Remember to tip me at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. was cute. Stop messing about now in the eye. Messing you've about. Got some whales to see. Yay. Uh, thought it'd be fun if you did it by husky. But only use them if they're treated well, if they want to pull you along. If not, walk, all right? Don't shower them, don't hit them. Make sure they're fed, make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Make sure their feet aren't sore. There you go. If they are, get them little shoes or something. Oh. All right, see you later, boy. Oh. I love how that's how that conversation went. <laughs> adorable like i know ricky gervais is it's totally an animal guy especially with dogs he has like a very soft spot for dogs and stuff so that was just like very cute because he just covered everything i was thinking i was like oh i don't like that they're going like with dogs because and um just he covered everything if they want to pull you just walk okay great if they, yeah, if their feet get cold yeah, i just love it that was that was good all right not as good as not going by dog but whatever some dogs like to work. Some dogs are happy to be useful and stuff, so... I don't know. All right. How's it going? Hey, you must be Carl. Yeah, I'm Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill? Nice, nice to meet you. This Everybody is your team. Everybody's so polite. Oh, they're so cute. They don't really... They're, those aren't huskies. The first one ain't a husky. Though, I think the one in the back is kind of husky. I was expecting husky huskies. But I love how everybody's so polite and just like eager to meet him and, and help him out and stuff. It's cute. Over here, this is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I'm, I'm going. Wood hey. Sit. So this is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. Why are they crying? This one's Simon. Simon. Or whatever. Nice Simon. Carl. <laughs> It's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, this is Frank, the cousin, and it is, it is you know, stepfather. <laughs> you you kind of go, oh, right, yeah, and you think, a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. You have to stand here and watch me. You have to stand here and watch me while I hook my dogs up. So they don't run away. He's going to film this. He's going to 
going round to a friend who's got a baby and it makes me realise I don't want one. It's like this. That's what I got on the back of it. No instructions really. It was like use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down, but that's not enough, is it? Okay. That's still pulling me. I've got my foot on the brake. Keep your foot on the brake. Fucking hell. I'm gonna let go. Fuck me! Aren't there commands and stuff? Mush or whatever? And certain wo these dogs have to work on commands. No? Also, he's going alone? This is a. Fucking hell! I'm gonna let go! Fuck me! Fuck off! Hold on! Hey, hey! Fucking hell, he's a hump! Slow down! It reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on the trolley. What? You do all that, and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same rush. You sort of no, you're in no control whatsoever. You're not in control of us. Slow down, you twat! What sort of lake is this? Easy boys, easy boys. Fucking stop! Stop! I said, when the dogs get old, what do they do? And they said, oh, we sort of, you know, they just retire them. Now I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball, never see it again. I don't know how it works. Where's well, the five foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shout in the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. You looked like you were doing all right there. Fucking fuck! Stop! You fucking shit! Stop! <laughs> fucking stop! <laughs> Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. Well, what's all this here? Yeah, talking water, you're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yeah. See, they don't listen, yeah. do they? Yeah. Seems to be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. The pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arms are hurting. What? But... But... I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is up there? Slow. Easy, boys. How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? How many hours? <laughs> Poor Carl. And I love how everybody's on a snowmobile around him. <laughs> everybody's just like mega comfortable. <clears throat> Finally get some signal. Put the phone on. Couple of messages. I think, oh, that's nice. Sue's been Is missing it? me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch. Or my mum and dad, or something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky. Of course. Just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. It's still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it is not going to happen, especially not on telly. I certainly don't want to have it done here. It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, well, I'm fine, mate. Where are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. <clears throat> I have, I, all, I, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Right, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. The other glaciers are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting 100 metres a day. Is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way, you know, they're in the water. That doesn't sound accurate. 100 metres a day? That doesn't sound like Whales it. are in the water. I it's don't a water-related experience. All right. Enjoy it. <clears throat> I don't know Steve sort of making a big deal about it, like, before they're gone. I don't think they'll go. It's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. 
My Aunt Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just saw that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? It's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I love when he talks about his family and stuff because it gives you, like, such a better idea of why he is the way he is. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I like I like the way it looks, good colour and everything. But I don't know what what Steve wants me to get from this. And he wants you to appreciate the damage that global warming's doing. No, it's not me who wants to be told. It's Sue's, I know. That's not something you're supposed to appreciate. You don't appreciate the damage of global warming. You you te conscientizas. You get aware of it, but not appreciate it. Boom! She's into wasting energy air dryer doing her hair all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient. You have no hair! Did he just say because I'm, I'm bald? I'm energy efficient because I'm bald. <laughs> Not wasting hot water, washing my hair. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. Okay. What are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. Swimming in glacier water. How close do Yamaha. I need to get? I don't... I, I, it's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. Proper... Wow. If I'm in there, That's cool. swimming about, and that goes off, Causes a wave, dead. Go on. How's the water running? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. All right. Poor Carl. What's in hope? It's pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if there was a whale in here. It'd be a, a reason to get in. <clears throat> Have a look. Would it? There's nothing in here. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. I've seen whales on the telly. That was great. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always... Chris Packett or not, it looked peaceful, right? I mean, it looked like a nice place to, like, just shut off all thoughts, meditate, and just float around. It's here, Whales on the telly. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I suppose you go out of yes. your way to see it, don't you? It's like your gran, she's in hospital. You go, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. But you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to see something before it dies. Oh, my gosh. What? Hello? All right. How's it going? I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, yeah. but yeah. Right. Well, uh, well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. Because I made that mistake with Dr. Fox. Never again. No, I didn't. Now, today, you're going to go and see what you actually came for in the first place. Whale watching. Um, I've sorted a boat for you. Now, it's not a tourist boat. You know, you're quite privileged again. You're not just being packed in with all the, the, the general punters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat, and um, uh, my man Brian's going to look after you. So, once again, an absolute money can't buy experience. Money did you, buy. Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy, man. All right. I'll see you later. How is that a money can't buy experience when literally, literally, it was bought with money for him? That, what? Bye. Bye. Bye.
Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots. I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell. What is that doing there? You know. Where else the is it going to be? That. That's what I want. I'm into fish. I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's Fair one uh, lantern fish. It has a, has a light bulb on its head, like a, a thing, because oh, it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who's into fish. He got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, what's the point? They don't do anything. But I'd have one of them, because I get sick of leaving the light on and stuff. I'm forever going around turning switches off. Hey, Carl, time to uh, chop, chop, give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. Size large. Stinks. How long are you out for? Till so, just the night. <laughs> Pretty clean on the inside. Just the outside, it's got fish oil on it. Oil, gross. Oh, fuck's sake. Things to do before you die, yeah? And here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there. I don't want to. Someone ran over it. Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. Is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So chop chop, move your hand, baby. Move your yeah. hand, chop chop chop. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chop chop. I wanted to see a whale. I didn't know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. I tell you what, he's pacing about out there like a madman. Oh, I thought he was. Oh chop, man. Chop. Gunner, I thought he was gonna faint. I tell you what, he's pacing I legit about thought out there, like a he was fainting right there because his eyes look like off. I thought he was a gunner, totally mad man. Chop, chop. Okay, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just gotta get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really bobbing up and down now. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? It's bad, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like fucking death here. Fucking get out of me if you want to be sick. Received 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've got another boat. It's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how fucking long. He's doing me dead in. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm here on the boat over me and fishermen and friends, and I'm fucking still. See you later. That was, inside that, was, or out? that was the message. Poor call. Dude, I get I get seasick, like, real easy. And, and car sick. Any kind of motion sickness. I hate it. And I feel his pain. That must suck, dude. I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron. Fuck's sake. King Kong. <laughs> it's not even funny, this. They should have had all the free willies. <laughs> I would love to see any kind of whale film. I would love to see his reaction just looking at what DVDs they had and had something with the whale on it. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on? He's making me is feel bad for even him. work? He's driving me insane. Looks so miserable. Poor thing. What's going on, man? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Put the Let's tally on. Up, man. I don't want to do fish. We never see that with ring it on the tally. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your ring it out and no, no. Take it out, man. Oh, I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to. I didn't come to cut fish. On the galley. He has a point. It's your fucking King Kong, eh? It's driving me insane. 
It's the longest intro. Oh, come on. Am I gonna get copyrighted for King Kong music? I better not. No! Oh, boy. Why can't I just be sick? I know that feeling. It's an awful what? feeling. What? What? There's some wheels. Seriously? Yeah, there's some wheels in there. Where are wheels? Oh. <laughs> that just broke my heart, man. There's some wheels. Seriously, like he, he believes nothing. Poor guy. I can't climb up there. Get into the... Where? I've got to lie down. I'm better when I'm lying down. There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? You're not going to see them from down there, Carl. I'm really not bothered. <laughs> Tell me when we're right, close. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. It is a tail and all. This is heartbreaking. Poor guy. Look at him. Look at the state he's in. This is awful. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, yeah, relax. All right, boy. See you later. It's just heartbreaking, dude. The whole episode just miserable and freezing and awful. And then finally at the end, he's so freaking messed up, can't even actually physically get up to see a whale. That that would that that sucks. Bucket list my bottom. <laughs> that was just I felt bad for him the whole last bit. Also, like Dude, they had him doing everything. They had him cleaning people's honey buckets. Cutting fish, feeling bad. Fuck. Sorry. Rushing him and all that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, dude. I've never heard him swear so much, by the way. Um, this was the episode where I guess the cold gets to him. Swore so much. But I, I, I ended up feeling bad for the guy. Like, the first bit was funny. And it's Carl being miserable, but in a fun way. But the last bit, dude... I also know that feeling of being seasick or being on a boat and you can't get off because you're like in the middle of nowhere, the middle of the freaking ocean, and you just, there's nowhere to go and you just feel awful and, ugh, it's awful. It's awful. And, um, that, I just, I don't know, felt bad for, I felt bad for him that he didn't even get to properly see the whales. I mean, that was the whole point of the episode. And they just, they screw with him so much. That he can't even get, like, any good out of it. So that kind of sucks. But whatever. I hope the next episode... I have no idea what the next episode is. No, I have no idea. I, I was thinking if I saw the title before I looked at this one, but I have no idea. But uh, hopefully it's something he'll enjoy a little bit more. Because, I mean, yeesh, that was just depressing. It ended on a very depressing... Oh. <laughs> on top of him being, like, extra mega miserable. They keep... You know, creeping up with the prostate exam and stuff. Oh, man. Poor guy. But um, ho hopefully next one will be a little bit funner. He'll enjoy it a wee bit more. But there you go. This put me in a way better mood, dude. Even even if, <laughs> even though it ended up on such a, like, depressing and just sad and miserable ending. 
like it ended on on the worst note possible it still cheered me up and stuff so i'm, I'm happy and i will watch the next one as soon as i can but um and I need a few days for that. But yes, 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 yes. I want to get that. Like, it's not, I'm not w not watching these as often because I don't want to. I just, everything has been going wrong. So, um, but anyway, I'm making time for it. So there we go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely fabulous. You've been a fabulous audience. <laughs> I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, I mean, Again, I just want him to be happy next episode. At least once in a while. Like, have him have a horrible moment and then have it, like, make up for it in the next one. Have a good moment and then we'll have a bad one again. I don't know. But anyway, um, whatever you guys have to do, have a wonderful one. A wonderful tomorrow. I will be around getting stuff done. Toodles, guys. <laughs>